hello and good evening the much awaited uh, je main notification for 2021 exam has come as expected and as have as we've been telling for a long time now the exam is going to be in the last week of february it's a it's a good thing that uh, this clarification has been given today uh, because uh, a lot of people because it sets at rest a lot of speculation surrounding the je mains in 2021 uh, people are going to be very clear as to what to expect for this set of exams uh, because people were thinking whether je mains will be held or not whether it will be a single uh, attempt test or uh, two two attempts test etc etc what will be the syllabus so all of those things have been clarified today and now the onus shifts to the student to start preparing and he can't complain similarly the announcement that has come today has the potential to kick start the academic activities throughout the country because so far people have been taking it a little cool um, the states have not enthusiastically announced the dates of reopening of schools and colleges but i think now with the first major exam of the season being announced there will be a lot of pressure on state governments to reopen the schools and colleges and they should be done because now it's almost safe and uh, we are seeing the covid numbers dropping significantly so the situation is just right for reopening the schools and colleges and we will come to that a little later but let's look at the details of je main 2021 so the first important thing is the registration start today and it will go on till 15th of january so you've got a one month window so that one month window is protected because we were wondering when is it going to come because they need to give one month for uh, registration so without wasting time they have released it today and the one month window is going to end on uh, 15th of january the dates of the exam will be 22nd to 25th of february 22nd to 25th of february that means it will be on four days and i think the first day will be reserved for uh, the uh, paper 2a and 2b and uh, the paper 1 which is basically for btech uh, will be on the remaining three days then uh, the most important thing is with regard to the pattern the pattern more or less has remained the same that means you're going to have 20 questions in maths objective type uh, in physics and chemistry and there'll be 10 questions in uh, of the numeric type in maths in physics and chemistry and out of these 10 numeric type questions you are supposed to answer only 5 so overall the number of questions you are going to attempt will be 25 for each subject overall 75 the choice is limited to only section b which caters to numeric and why have they given the choice the choice is to account for the syllabus variation across boards because different boards have treated the syllabus reduction differently Uh, CBSE has uh, reduced by 30 percent. Some other boards have reduced to varying accounts, and some boards have not uh, reduced at all. So to take care of all of those things, uh, the choice is given in the section B. So section A, that is the multiple choice part, is going to remain the same. Okay, that is one major change this year. The second major change this year is that uh, unlike last time, where it was a two paper test. we are going a two attempt test we are going to have a four attempt test so you are going to have in february you are going to have in march you are going to have in april you are going to have in may and the best score will be taken for ranking purpose and this is definitely uh, i would say in favor of the students because uh, different state government boards will have their exams in different months starting from february so if they clash with uh, this particular Uh, exam you can take some other slot so that uh, uh, that that flexibility is there so students can take all the four or student can take just one so the choice is left to you so how many you have to take whether you should exercise all the options that is a discussion for some other day we will discuss in threadbare detail all those things but today the important uh, announcements sir similarly the uh in, in terms of the dates the dates the as i told you the last date for registration is 15th of january the admit cards will be sent in the first week of february 
the date of exams will be 22nd to 25th of february also uh, the dates for display of question papers answer keys and results all of them they said they will be announced shortly normally they would have given these dates now itself but this time perhaps because they are doing it in a hurry the the dates i think they are going to announce in due course uh, that should not alter our preparation in any way also the other important uh, Im information this time is that the exam is being conducted in 13 languages 13 major indian languages uh, that is english plus 12 indian languages so that is uh, that is another change uh, this time however the languages will be available only in the, in uh, defined states like for example english plus telugu will be available only in telangana and andhra pradesh similarly english plus tamil will be available only in tamil nadu english plus gujarati will be available only in gujarat so that is how they have planned out this entire set of activities so we will come to the implications in a later video but today Uh, what is it that you need to bother about you need to bother about the registration formalities uh, so registration formalities you've got one month but you got to take care of few things one is you should keep with you an email id and phone number you should have scanned images of your photograph and signature ready then there is what is called as a result awaited attestation form which is given there uh, you need to be ready with that and this time there is another major departure you need to have your category certificate ready right now they are asking you to upload the category certificate also so the sc st obc um uh, ews whatever so that category certificate also has to be uh, available now and then of course uh, pwd people with disabilities that certificate also you need to upload so these are some of the things that you need to keep in mind so uh, all in all it is good that the national testing agency has gone ahead and given this clarity as we have been saying that the exam will be held in the last week of february the date has come so students cannot postpone their preparation any longer students all also cannot say that you know we did not have offline classes we are having only online classes so all those excuses will not be taken uh, into consideration so you have to start immediately most of you would have been in, would be in some kind of revision mode so you need to continue on that consolidate on that provided uh, you are not very confident of your yeah, february attempt you, you always have the march april and may attempts but you have to also factor in the board exams so the board exam dates and see that these exams don't clash so therefore you can't count on say for example the april and uh, may because i think most board exams will be around those dates the only thing that is possible definitely possible will be february march in some cases so the other things will depend upon your particular board so how many attempts should should you take should you take all the four and all that we will discuss in a later video but today we have the information available uh, right now so what it what it all, only means is that you cannot postpone the dates any longer dates for your preparation any longer the exam is there so any further questions that you have please pass them on in the comment section our team will get back to you as quickly as possible this is a very important announcement and one needs to take this announcement very very seriously okay so uh, anurag is asking this question should we register for all the four at the same time no you don't have to register for all the four at the same time you'll be registering only for the february attempt right now march attempt again immediately after the result is announced february result is announced you will be given some time for the march attempt and uh, you can register at that point of time okay um all right so there are a few other questions which regard to category and all that we will deal with those questions a little later okay uh any other questions please put in the comment section uh we will the, our team will get back to you all the best at this stage get ready with your preparation uh no reason for postponement at, at this point of time so go ahead and uh, look at the positive side of it uh and i feel that anybody who's done reasonably okay like preparation will stand a good chance in the february attempt because your percentile will be much much higher 
on that note let's end this video with more details we'll come back in the next video